At this point, isn't it just mission difficult? Hi, I'm Daniel, and this is the Duncan Mission Impossible Rogue Nation, starring Tom Cruise. Let's break it down. In a nutshell, the plot is that Ethan Hunt has to take down an evil criminal organisation called The Syndicate. The IMF is gone, and Hunt is on the run from the CIA. That's the tagline on the posters. In reality, this film is about shades of grey, about who is your ally? Who can you trust? Now the good news is the franchise seems to finally have worked out that Ethan Hunt is less interesting than my backdrop. And the film instead placed most of its energy on Isla Faust. Isla Faust. Name on screen. Because she's an interesting character. She's well thought out, she's believable, she easily knocks Ethan Hunt to the sidelines. Ethan Hunt is a sidekick in this film. He has been well and truly Mad Maxed. This film is all about her. It's about her trying to discover who can she trust, what kind of world is she living in where there's shades of grey and loyalties change on a sixpence. She's just trying to survive and get out. The soundtrack is brilliant, there's an awesome car chase about halfway through, and they don't use any music at all, it's just the engines. The director has faith and trust that just a car chase is enough. There's a really tense underwater scene where the only sound on the soundtrack is a heartbeat. And it's really tense. And it's good to know that there is a director out there who knows that sometimes less is more. We don't always need a sweeping orchestra when you can have a heartbeat or silence. And that is so important. The film moves along at a fair old clip. I mean, it goes from London to Washington to Morocco to other locations. And at times, despite the fact that it's jetting all over the world, it did drag a little bit. And I do think that about 10 minutes could have been shaved off the running time. And there are lots of really cool action sequences, but again, I've seen these in the trailers. What else you got? Of course, backing Tom Cruise up, you've got Simon Pegg, you've got Ving Rhames, you've got Hawkeye. These are all really good bit part characters. But I felt, given the stakes the movie was trying to go for, sometimes the tone was a little bit too light, a little bit too jovial. And then we get on to the villain. A villain who's supposed to be an evil hunt. A chess player, always two moves ahead. A villain about as menacing as my washing up. He spends the entire film talking into a headset, looking at a laptop, talking to people, trying to be vaguely threatening. Except he was talking like this. And I spent the entire film wondering when he was going to start coughing. Or at the very least acting like he'd been fully charged the night before. I like my villains menacing. I don't like them to just be a guy in a jumper talking to a laptop. The action, incredible. The soundtrack, incredible. The acting, actually really good. The fight scenes, they're really well staged. I'm going to rate this film as See It Now. The highest rating I can give. Get out there. Your mission, should you choose to accept it, is to go out there and see this film. This review will self-destruct in five seconds.